Welcome back to the channel. It's me and Jaren Hall. Today we're going to take a look at a new product that came from an ESU. But first, we got to see where it comes from. So, the roots. So, we have this foam crater here, right? Uh, from Bowser. It served its purpose. You need to set your locomotives down in here. As you know, I like to do custom locomotives for myself. So, you know, you know, did one here. Stick it in there. That's cool. You know, it holds it. It serves its purpose, right? But sometimes the handrails get bent when you insert these locomotives inside the foam. You can see sometimes it's hard to grab the locomotive out here. So once again, it, it serves its purpose. It works fine, works uh, well, but you know, need the, you know, everything updates and gets an upgrade. So this guy was from Bowser still gonna use it but we have this guy here from a uh, ESU so you look at it you see on the camera that it says a slightly little longer than the Bowser one that we used for many many years it's still once again useful if you're not interested in this ESU one here now with the ESU one here it was makes this a little different that the cradle here is sloped a little bit more and also this magnet strip. So I just stick my locomotive on here, drop it in and you can see how it lays in there on the side and the handrails is not getting the bent. Also you can use the other side here to place your locomotive in here. We'll just pick it up. Lay it on the side. Now here, you know, you can see that it does pinch your handrails there but try to angle it like on the edge here like that. You can see, so it won't pinch the handrails or knock off the details here. It'll block your magnetic strip a little bit, but you'll still be able to work on uh, two locomotives at the uh, same time if uh, desired, which you can uh, see here. You know, the large locomotives that I have, so I'm gonna put a small guy in here. Yeah. Throw it in there. So I'll try to lay it in there without messing the handrails up so let's take a look at that guy so yeah it gives a little pinch here on the um, handrail so it's got to open it up let it sit in there for a little bit while you work on it so you have enough space to work on both of your local with your magnetic strip here holding on to the screws so you see here on the under this here that you have this uh, cut out piece that you can take that out and put it on the ends which is will fit here and you can add another piece would be something similar to this here like that but I don't have another one because I don't need it because I don't use anything that big and I think my steam engine will fit in here just fine uh, I believe if you want to you can turn around like this take this 3M tape off and just stick it to your working area and it should be uh, set there for a while because the three M six tape is uh, pretty good. But as if you want to, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. But you know, to each his own. I'm just showing you guys what's new, uh, what's hot. I like it. I want to share with you guys because um, you know the channel for me is to show other people uh, what's available. To me. 